Hello everybody and this is Tony Rizzano coming to you live today. We have a bonus episode of Online Marketing Moves. Ladies and gentlemen, we are just sitting out here. We have pulled out the old telephone and we have pulled out the old microphone for, for, for old time's sake. We are. I'm sitting out here looking in the mud field. We are coming to you. Uh, we'll, we'll go back. We are. We are. We are even going to go back to the good old days. We are coming to you live from the great state of Tennessee. Hey everybody. Okay. Now this bonus episode, we are going to talk about a couple of different things. First, we're going to talk about hope. Hope is for dopes, ladies and gentlemen. Don't use the word hope in your vocabulary. You know. Don't tell me. I hope I get 50,000 YouTube subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, you are going to upload that content on a regular basis. And ladies and gentlemen, you are going to work hard. And ladies and gentlemen, you are going to get those 50,000 subscribers. It's not about hope, you know. We all hope we can win the lottery. That's kind of that. Hope is for dopes, you know. You hope you win the lottery. If you ever, if you ever went and bought a ticket, you go, oh, hope I, maybe I'll win a million bucks, you know. But you have to you have to be realistic. You know you ain't gonna win. You know, chances you win is slim to none. So if you if you if you want to invest your money wisely, don't buy lottery tickets. Okay. So, <laughs> but when it comes to your business, when it comes to anything, when it comes to the content creation, when it comes to writing, you know, um, you should never utter the words "I hope" because "I hope" is the kiss of death. You know. Oh, I hope that you know I get. 10,000 downloads of a week. You know, what What can I do to get those 10,000 downloads? Well, one, number one, you got to upload the content. Number two, you got to let people know that you have content that they should listen to. And number three, you have to just keep going. That is, that is, that is the key. There's no hope. There's no I wish, I hope, this, that, the other. That, those are the KODs, the kiss of death. The kiss of deaths, Okay kiss of death would just say that you know i mean i'm very excited this early morning i even give you the time time right now is 5 48 okay we are just uh we're just taking this is a very light day i plan on getting back i plan on getting back um back at the job so you have to space these things out i'll give you we'll get back on the subject of hope in a second but i'll tell you i'll tell you a little truck driving trick from me to you okay and if you have friends you they, they they probably know the hustle. So you know, uh, in truck driving, they they look at twelve hours like it's a normal day. You know, you know the the average person they go to the bank, they work eight hours a day. You know, eight and a half hours maybe, maybe they get a thirty minute lunch. You know, but in truck driving, they think twelve hours is a normal day, which is ridiculous. Okay, <laughs> but anyway, that's a whole other story. So. They always, you know, if you work 12 hours, they're like, oh, good, 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 good. But if you come in any earlier than nine hours, then they try to send you back out and put you to work. So for me, you know, right now it's six o'clock. It's 548 and I'm about two hours away from the old job. So what I'm going to do, I figured I'm going to record this bonus episode. I'm going to take me a little power nap. And then I'll, I'll I'll head back around seven, get back to the place at nine, hop in my car, and mosey on home. You see how that works, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes you just gotta squeeze out that clock. But anyway, let's get back to this hope. Yes, hope is for the dope. You and I are not dope, so let's not utter the phrase hope. You know, the other day my wife said, "I hope we are able to travel soon." You know, I said. I said, baby, we are going to be traveling wherever you want to go. You want to go? You want to go to New York? You want to go to New Jersey? You want to go here? You want to go there? We will be able to travel. She said, I told her, I said, we're not on the hope. We're not on the hope train. We are on the we are going to do it train because I'm here every day. Let me tell you something. I'm working harder and harder than I have before. I have a determination. I have this written down. I said, you know, I used to think all oh, by the time I, my baby is going to be born i plan on walking off but i i've upped the ante i challenged myself i said i'm gonna make it may i said i'm gonna hit 10,000 20,000 march april and then boom i'm gone okay so that those are my goals so last night i got three hours of sleep you know and i didn't say 
Oh, I hope I'm able to make it tonight. I said, no, I'm going to make it to, to work tonight. And we're going to have energy and we're going to get through this night and we're going to get back home so we can get so we can get back to doing what we do best. OK, working on our stuff, working on the content. So when it comes to your business, when it comes to you personally, professionally, lose the word hope because hope is what kids the dopes okay when it comes to you you don't have to have hope you have a plan you take action you kick butt okay now of course as we all know everything is not going to work out like you want but if you if you are if you are putting yourself in the position you have a better chance of making things work we all know this we both know this now another thing i want to talk to you about is be, being overwhelmed by thinking of a big project now you know i talked about last week i said you know if you want to do you know what if you want to start if you if you haven't started creating content already you know and you want to just get started do one thing you know in, in, in the beginning you know do one thing we talked about the ten thousand kicks this that and third but the reason why we talk about that kind of thing is because a lot of times when you get when you first get started in something and you and you feel real enthused you want to do everything at once and it doesn't quite work like that like <clears throat> i watched the video because i'm more into the bible you know i'm more into religion i'm becoming more you know i want to i want to have a deeper relationship with god you know this is just this is just me talking to you you know i i I personally want to have a relationship with God, a, a better relationship, a deeper relationship, you know? So for me, I am learning more about the Bible. You know, I'm finally, you know, I started reading the Bible and started learning a few things. And I thought, man, how am I going to get through this Bible? You know? And then I had to stop myself and I said, you know, it's a thousand something pages, you know, obviously I'm not going to read a thousand something pages in the next month or two. So for me, I watched a video about this lady and she was talking about how she had a prayer. She had this prayer journal, this prayer notebook, you know, and I was like, oh, I would like, I was like, oh, I need something like that. And she talked about how one year she reads a different chapter in the Bible. Like she studies like, you know, j the, the book of John, you know, gospel according to John or something like that for like a year, you know, stuff like that. So I said, you know what? I said, I need to unpack, you know, because the, the Bible, religion, it's a big thing. But, you know, I don't need to learn the whole thing to have a relationship with God. I need to learn one. I need to learn one thing at a time. You know, I need to break it down, you know, and that's how you have to take on different challenges. You know, if there's 20 things that you need to do to fix something. You can't do fix 20 things at once, but what you can do is do one thing. You know, you can do that thing today. You can do the next thing tomorrow, or if it takes you two or three days to do the one thing, then that's what it's going to take. You know, it's sort of like this weekend. I was doing the, the funnels, you know, for the, the funnels that people, you know, they sign in. And then I made a video to tell people about, the pro the affiliate program and then you know i set it up to where it directs to somewhere else so it took me two days to do this you know but the point of it is that i didn't try to and i had to overcome this as well one thing about me when i get into something i want to i want to dive into it full blown and then i don't have the opportunity to dive into it full blown and then back in the day i would just be like I mean, this ain't working. You know, I, I quit, but I had to learn patience. I had to learn some discipline, and I, you also had to learn that it's not about doing everything at once. It's just about, you know, taking you taking the time that you have, maximizing that time, step by step. You know, it's not a do it as fast as you can, and then you're gonna make a million bucks. It doesn't work like that. It's just like. If you need to start doing content, do one video today, one video tomorrow, video the next day, and then it might be five minutes. It might you might not have anything to say after five minutes. Just leave it alone. Just don't worry about it. Don't think about it. You come back tomorrow. 
You try to do five and a half minutes. You know, the next day you try to do six minutes. And before you know it, a year, two years, you're talking in the video, you're looking in the camera, you don't even think about it. You're just talking, you're just moving. And it's an hour, you know, 30 minutes, 45 minutes. You know, these videos are good. You have these videos crisp. You have everything down pat. And that is because you are just doing it. You're not worried about, I need to do these 50 things at once. You're taking it one step at a time. You're unpacking the situation, you know. Unpack the box. You know, it's like when you get something in the mail, it's like um, me, and, me and my wife are going to have to put together, we're going to have to put together some kind of baby bed, you know. She has something where she wants to... Uh, she she wants us to put together a ba uh, the carriage I guess I think the baby carriage is that she wants to do something like that so you know we're gonna pull out all the stuff I'm gonna this is what I've learned I'm gonna pull out all the stuff and we're gonna set it set it aside and then we're going to go from step one to step two to step three to step four and I know that is and I know that's not that's not sexy that is not you know, the thing people want to hear, people want to hear fly by night, millionaires, you know, this, that, and the other. People want to hear, you know, the, the instantaneous, but life, business doesn't work that way. I'm not saying you can't succeed fast. That's not, that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is you want to take it one, one day at a time. Because some people have, some people have more marketing skills than others. Some people know how to. Some people are naturally more, you know, some people are just natural, naturally better at, you know, going to people, talking to people, marketing themselves, things of that nature, you know? And some people, it's the learned skill, but it doesn't mean we all can't get good at it. It doesn't mean you all can't be great at it. You know what I mean? For some, it's just going to take longer than others, and that's okay. But the one thing that we all can do, all of us, the one thing that we can do is wake up take action on a daily basis if you do that you know the one step at a time the one video the one whatever content you know you write one blog post a day you, you know you and then you might work your way up to you writing two three a week four a week five long pieces a week who knows but the main thing don't get overwhelmed don't think i need to do 50 things at once you know it's just like one week one week set up a Facebook page. One week set up this. One week set up that. And then, you know, once you get that machine, because the main thing is once you get that machine rolling, once you get that cash machine rolling, then you can sit back and be like, oh, this hard work I did these few months this year, it paid it paid off. It'll pay off better than, you know, of course, we all know it'll pay off better than where you work. I know for me, it's definitely going to pay off more than, more than what I work, you know. I mean, I work six hours a week and, you know, I make all right, but I know I can make better on my own doing what I need to do. So, you know, just remember, hope is for dopes and, uh, you know, don't get overwhelmed. Don't get overwhelmed by the situation. No situation is too big for you. OK. You might just need to take a deep breath, take it one step at a time, one day at a time. I know that's not what people want to hear, but it's OK. You'll be okay. You'll be all right. You'll get there. All right? But that's it for the bonus episode, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will be back. Well, we will be back today with another hard-hitting episode. And we will talk about, we will go more into funnels and things of that nature on Monday's podcast. But until then, I wish you all the best. Good morning. Good afternoon. And good night or whatever, wherever you're at or wherever, whenever you listen to this bonus episode of Online Marketing Moves. But until next time and in between times, I say goodbye. And as always, everybody, peace.